Over the years, I've had music books galore, especially from the 70s, and the pages are all falling out with a little glue, a roll of duct tape, and some sandpaper, and a couple of artist panels. I've managed to glue them back together, and I'll show you how to do it here. And here's my finished product. I'm concerned with the pages opening and closing and making sure they're straight. I'm not real concerned with what it looks like. If you are, you can get some book binding tape and you can make it look really pretty. But this is just to show you how to do it and get you started. Things you will need for this job. You'll need some glue, some duct tape, Roll of regular duct tape. You can use duct tape for anything. Sandpaper. I used a hundred grit. Wax paper. Just use the cheapest wax paper you can find. It's going to stop the edges from sticking and this little homemade uh, your book. Place in between here and you tighten it down with these screws. And I just made this out of scrap wood I had laying around. So you can see when something goes in there. Make sure it um, clamps really well. This is the condition of most of my music books. I'm gonna align the pages up and put them in this homemade clamp that I've made. It's important to get the pages all lined up for this to work properly. And this sandpaper, I'm gonna sand the binding edge. So I'm gonna insert the book into my clamp. Make sure it's all nice and straight. It's good to have the, the back edges so that you can lean this against. You can make this look really nice with binding if you'd like. Here's what my product turned out like. I'm not real concerned with it being real pretty, but all the pages are straight and that's what I'm concerned with. So I'm going to tighten this down as tight as I can possibly get it and then I'm going to scuff up and sand the binding. I'm using 100 grit sandpaper. I'm going to scuff it up as much as possible and get it as clean as I can. You want to remove the old glue in the binding and you kind of want to scuff up your pages but not so much that it's going to make a mess and you want to try to get it as even and as smooth as you possibly can okay, I'm cleaning it all off I'm going to go ahead and saturate the spine with glue I'm going to run it right up along the top and I want to make sure I get those covers. I'm going to wipe the excess glue from the top and bottom pages. You don't want those sticking together. So I'm going to saturate this spine with glue. Make sure I get quite a bit. Because I'm going to rub it into the spine here. The pages are going to be real dry and they should absorb the glue. So I'm going to rub it in really good. I'm going to remove the excess, but I'm going to leave a heavy coat on the top of the spine. You don't want clumps like this, though at this point it's not going to matter that much. But you don't want glue going on the top and the bottom because it'll um, glue your pages together. You don't want that. So I'm using duct tape, but if you wanted to use book tape, it would look really nice. But I just had duct tape, and I'm just concerned with the pages holding together. So I'm going to go ahead and put the duct tape on here and clamp it down. Pull it as tight as you can possibly get it. And you kind of want to leave a little buffer for the glue on the top, but you want it smooth so it's going to look okay. And I'm using wax paper. Wax paper will stop the glue from gluing anything surrounding it and it's really easily removed once the glue is set up. 
And I've got some artist panels. You can use any small plywood. Just put it in there for the extra strength and support on the spine. And then I'm going to get it as tight as I can get it. The glue dries up in about four hours, but I like to let it set overnight just to make sure. And while it's drying, I'll check to make sure that there isn't any glue seeping down on the sides that w might glue the pages together. This is going to be the finished product. You're going to have the, the glue on the base, and all the pages are binded together real well. And this binding has lasted me several years when I've done this. You can make it really pretty if you get the book tape, and that'll doctor it up quite a bit if that's real important to you. I've done this a few times over the years, and it's saved quite a few of my music books. You can see the first one that I ever did, it's kind of glumpy with the glue and glumps. And then as I went on, I started using duct tape with the glue to cover it up so it looked nice and neat. Your first book, just kind of start out and see how it comes out for you and what you need to do. And you'll get a feel for it, and they'll look better and better as you go on. This first book I must have done maybe four years ago, five years ago. You can see they hold up really well. They may not look the greatest, but they really hold up. <laughs> 